Hello friends. So today what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go over the min size subarray sum problem. Uh, it's not super hard to understand conceptually. So let's just say that we have an array like this. Uh, 2, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, what we're trying to do if we're passed in a number 4, which is our search number, what we're trying to do is find the, large, uh, the smallest contiguous subarray that lines up to that to be equal than equal to or greater than that number. So right here, if we look, this is a contiguous subarray that is equal to or greater than four. Uh, this is one as well. Uh, this four would be one. This five would be one. Let's actually take off this five, six, and seven. That's stupid. So what we would do is the length of this array is four, the length of this array is two, and the length of this array is one. So we want to return the smallest one. So for this, we would want to return one. If this 4 were gone, we would want to return this array, which is 2. The length is 2. If these 2s were gone, we would want to return uh, 4, because the length of that array is 4. This contiguous subway that, subarray that is equal to or greater than uh, the search term. And then if we take off one of these 1s, since none of those add up to be greater than or equal to 4, we would want to return a 0. So it's not super hard to understand conceptually, but the implementation could be a little bit tricky. So let's just start off, uh, and as I go, I'll explain it. Function, we'll call this one subarray. And this, uh, this function is gonna take in a search number and an array. And so the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna set result uh, to basically the largest number that we can, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare result the result variable we're going to assign it to the smallest array that we subarray that we can get so the length the smaller the length is the comparator that we're going to have to do so initially instead of comparing it to starting it at zero or something like that we want to be able to compare it to a larger number so the way to get the largest number that javascript can handle is you can go number uh dot max safe integer uh, that's like something to the 29th power. It's just a super huge number. So result is always going to be smaller than that if we do find a result. If not, we're going to just keep it at the largest number possible. And we'll deal with that later. We need to set up two more variables. We'll set up a left because we want to be able to have a left boundary. And we'll set up a sum because we're going to want to keep track of the sum. So now let's do our for loop. So right here we just say for loop. And we can go for let i equal zero i less than r dot length i plus plus okie dokie so now that we have that set up what? now that we have that set up inside here what we want to do is add to sum so sum plus equals r and i the current letter that i is on let's put our array down here so we can take a look at it so const r equals one two three four one two one. That's our array. So right now, sum is a zero. Uh, on the first increment of this, sum this we would add the one to sum. So now sum is one, sum is two, sum is three, sum is four. So now the sum is actually greater than or equal to the search term, the search number, which is four, passed in. So what we want to do is we'll do inside of this for loop, we'll do a while loop. We'll say while sum is greater than oops greater than or equal to search number so while that is true what we want to do is compare the result which initially is set up on line four is like i said the largest number in javascript we want to we want to assign result to we want to compare what result is currently versus the length of the contiguous subarray that we're dealing with uh, right now so the way that we find that is if you think about it, we have a left uh, variable set up up top, which is at zero right now. So left would be basically right here, and then i would be right here. So to get the length of this contiguous subarray right here, what we could do is say i, which is at three, because it's on a zero index, so zero, one, two, three. We could take i, which is at three, minus left, which is zero, plus one. So three, minus zero is still three plus one is four we want to compare that to what result is right now so we can to get the minimum value we can go math.min and then we can pass in result whatever it is now plus um, i minus left plus one 
and that will that will return this will return four right here and we're comparing that to result which is the largest number in JavaScript so now our result is going to be assigned to four so after we compare the result that we have and we assign it a new result or keep it as the result that it is depending on what the logic would be now what we want to do is increment this left right here we want to push this forward but we also want to decrement the uh, the sum because we don't want to keep adding to our sum just yet so we want to go like this we'll go sum minus equals so we'll take away from sum and then we'll go r at left plus plus and we'll increment left at the same time and so that's basically the bulk logic of the algorithm and this should work like that uh, so let's return down here at the bottom and I'll explain how it goes a little bit further just let me get this return statement done so we want we don't just want to return result because what if there was a, a an array where we couldn't find a contiguous subarray that was greater than or equal to the search term passed in well in that case we want to return zero so what we can do is we know initially that we set it up to number dot max safe integer that's what we set result as so what we can do we can say return result and we can check if that's equal to ma uh, to number dot max safe integer if it's equal to that we'll do a ternary operator here we just want to return zero if not we want to return the result and so what that will do is if result was reassigned which is always going to be smaller than this number then we would be returning the result if it wasn't reassigned that means that we didn't find a contiguous subarray that was greater than or equal to the search term passed in search number passed in so it was going to stay like this so that's how line 16 works so let's go through the algorithm again real quick so let's say that we let's let's do it like this let's say that left starts out right here left and then i starts out right here so i is right here and left is also right here but let's look at i so sum is at zero at first so sum is at one two three four now that it's at four we want to find the length of that array that's right there so the length of that is four that is set to result then we increment i decrement the sum so now the sum is at three and then we increase i now the sum is greater than four but the length of this array is also four so the so the result stays at four increment length is greater than or equal to, uh sum is greater than or equal to four but the length of the the length of the array is three so now three is our new contiguous subarray then we increment l i is still here that is not greater than or equal to four so we increase length is at three so result is still at three increase right here that is equal to or greater than four so now our new result is two then here same goes to three but our result still at two then once you move l all the way up here l is l and i are going to be the same and that means that the result that the that the uh what's it called the uh the length of the contiguous subarray is going to be one so let's just try to run this let's go const search number equals four and then we'll console.log what are we console log in here what's the name of that and it's subarray and it's going to take in the search number and the r so let's console log it at first we should get one if everything went right scratch.js one okay cool so let's take off this four it should be two now so let's run it again it's two let's take off these two twos now it should be four let's run it again oh i didn't save it let's run it again four now let's take off one of these right here and it should return zero because none of those are actually uh greater than or equal to so it should return zero zero uh, instead of returning zero, you could return something like not found or something like that, but I just like return zero right here. So that's how it works. Uh, the main stumbling blocks on this is this line right here, number thir uh, line 13. That's a little bit confusing. Um, finding the length of the array is a little is a little something. It's kind of a little bit hard to get. And then returning this ternary statement down here is something to look at too. So I hope this helped and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy. Have a good day.